uh, as we know, Milford Hospice uh, are down on funds this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic and we need to support them. Um, today is a National Hospice Day and anything made locally, it stays locally. So that's a very important point. So everything here that you put in this box stays and goes to Milford. So this morning we had three gazebos uh, here in Queen of Peace car park. So we had tea and coffee and we had a bake sale and all the people from the area and from far afield, from Balneti, people from Moyeros, Cardevon, Janesborough Ratban, Kennedy Park, Glasgow Park, Hyde Road, all came to support us. Uh, they were really kind. Lots of 50s put in, lots of checks put in as well. So people were really nice. So just because you can't donate um, here today, you can go online and donate the price of a cup of coffee to Milford. So if you just Google Milford Hospital, Hospice and they have an online facility there as well. So they'd no harvest fair, they'd no sunflower day and now they're really down on funds in relation to that. So this is why it was very important for us to come up with a novel idea and we did with the drive through car park, just waving at someone there, <laughs> with the drive through um, event here in um, Queen of Peace car park. Um, at one stage, my daughter Emily said, um, where, where, where are all the people coming from? So I have to say, between people just driving in and donating and people standing around having the cup of tea. Now, I know the weather wasn't the greatest. However, we still got huge support. And I'm, I'd love to say thank you to everyone who baked, who uh, threw in the few quid and who arrived here today to give a hand. You had a collection last night at um, the pub, didn't you? The yeah, spotted, the spotted dog. dog. Yeah, so people wanted to, to donate baked goods for the event. So we met last night at the Spotted Dog, myself and Lisa, and um, we just uh, collected the baked goods. So people were very kind. That's why we had so much here today as well. So it was great. For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very important for us to support Milford today because they supported us when we really needed help. Um, Damien, unfortunately, died in Milford Hospice. My mother died in Milford Hospice. And I don't think there's a family in Limerick that hasn't had support when they needed it from Milford Hospice, whether it's night nurses, whether it's hospice care or palliative care.